What we have is glorious. It is log picnic table version 1.0. I love the people here at these events. I love non-electric water moving. I love simple mechanical systems. Uh, I love building with wood. One of the projects we've done while I was here is an all log picnic table that's up near the top of the volcano here. We explored a wide variety of tools that attach uh, and debarking tools and how to fell a tree and how to size the tree properly, how to lay out a saddle notch and cut a saddle notch, and then how to split six and eight inch logs with a chainsaw. It ended up being a rather giant picnic table which is lovely and delightful. You go out, you drop the tree. You need to, to knock off the branches. You need to peel it. We did progressive cuts, and then we chipped out, and then we used a grinding attachment to round them. The logs have a flat spot on them, and at the same time on the ends, there's some shaping on the ends of those logs where you sit to hold the rest of the table up. I think I saw... <laughs> like deck screws holding the table on, but my guess is there's no other metal in it besides that. Almost no metal in it. Everything tended to snap together. We added screws so stuff wouldn't blow or fall over on people just to be safe. Everything but the top deck, it's all held together strictly by gravity and saddle yep. joints. Yes. And the saddle joints are all on in such a way so that it's most likely to repel water because it's out in the open. It's right. way too big to move around. The wood that's on top is also round wood, but it has been cut and then planed to oh make a gosh, flat spent surface. Hours, hours. One of the guys spent just hand planing the top because he wanted it perfect. What we have is glorious. It is log picnic table version 1.0.